this is like between 30 and 40 layers, depending on how thick and how hot it is. So. And now we're ready for the red. It's not a red clay, but it is a Venetian red color, and it is, it's still acrylic, so it'll dry fast. It doesn't have the porous quality that the uh, clay does. The reason why I use the red paint is that it is a traditional color that is put behind almost all gelding, whether it's silver or gold or copper, because when you're laying the, the leaf down, it often has little cracks, and so you'll see hairline cracks. If I left the canvas white, the white would jump out of the gold or the silver, whereas the red recedes. So red recedes. And it's often used, even in oil painting, they'll do like a red wash to fill any gaps between the paint. birds come from. You know, they started out as a good idea because I love them. I have hundreds, if not thousands, of hummingbirds where I live, so they're always around me. And I did uh, some research on all the magical things that they represent in every culture for hundreds of years, and I just love them. Firstly, I'm painting into light so that everything I do is blocking light. But the idea of it is to allow the light to create a field in which things live and move. So it's a little bit of a balance so I don't paint too much out or paint too much in. And the process of making the canvas, bringing it to the silver or gold surface is also really one of just lots of tedious layering of acrylics and sanding. There's like, man, when it's done, maybe 40 layers, maybe more on each one, so that you get a really silky smooth, and then I put on the gold, and I varnish it a few times, and then I can paint on it after all that. So. Well, I love color, and I love light. It's what gives anything I put on the canvas, it brings it to a different kind of life depending on the color, because everything on these canvases are in motion or they're suggested in motion by the changing light all the time. So I love playing with light and I love how it moves through the colors. This paint, the way I blend is just thousands of strokes up and down and back and forth. Still on the gold, so the background is all the same, but the process is very different. This is wild and spontaneous, and it's done with pouring the paint. And then I use straws and blowers and my breath and rags and brushes and mops. They kind of grow on their own. I guide them in certain ways, but in many other ways, they just unfold like a flower.
We're making a darker edge and the center will be light. So it's just the beginning of the blend. 